Yo, what is good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Jay Bari here, and I'm back with another video here to talk about some Call of Duty. Um, it's going to be doing a, a thought piece uh, video talking about Call of Duty and it being uh, rumored or, or, or reported to come going to Game Pass uh, when it comes to this year's uh, Call of Duty. So we got some news from like... Um, you know, game industry .biz, I think it's like Eurogamer, The Verge, all these, you know, articles reporting that the next Call of Duty, uh, what well, the Wall Street Journal, I think is one that reported the, the next Call of Duty is reported to go into Game Pass uh, day and date. Um, this one coming up this year, and they're going to reveal that June 9th uh, for, you know, the Xbox show. So it's saying right here, and I apologize, I only got one monitor right now, so you know, I got to <laughs> I got to be all over here, but it's saying here the Wall Street Journal had uh, reports that Microsoft will announce the next uh, announced that Call of Duty is coming to game subscription service during the company's Xbox showcase June 9th. I reported earlier. This is what they report and stuff um, saying the brief Wall Street Journal report doesn't make it clear whether Microsoft plans to charge extra for Call of Duty uh, inside Game Pass, nor whether the company will raise the price, will raise its Game Pass uh, ultimate subscription uh, fee. Um, I understand that Microsoft uh, has been considering raising the price, uh, raising Xbox Game Pass ultimate pricing again. Activision is currently targeting the late October release for the next Call of Duty, which is reported to be during the 1990s Gulf War. So they say that the next Call of Duty is going to be like... Uh, you know, Black Ops uh, 6. Uh, you know, it's the Treyarch game. They're typically known for the Black Ops series or they have done the World at War, um, you know, game. But yeah, I'm a big fan of like Treyarch games. Um, I really like Treyarch games a lot. Um, they're my favorite Call of Duty developer. Um, some of my favorite like first person shooting games come from the Treyarch uh, made games when it comes to Call of Duty. And Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 3 is is a Black Ops 1 by far, you know, my, like my favorite Call of Duties um, of all time. Um, so seeing this news right here, um, I mean, it ma it makes sense for Microsoft, you know, to put Call of Duty in Game Pass, especially that they own it. Do I necessarily think it's going to be good for the series? Is it good for the franchise? I don't think so, because I'm always the one, you know, where people get this whole Game Pass effect thing. I'm the one that brought it into the, the, the light as far as when it comes to game pass and how I feel like it can, it, you know, affect game development as far as, you know, pushing the bar or settling for a certain amount of like, you know, budget or, you know, a certain type of game. And then you just put that shit in game pass and develop it later throughout the, the time period. Um, and I feel like, you know, call of duty, you get a pretty complete package um, every year uh, where you get your single player story. You know, most most of the time you get your online core uh, play. You get your zombie or your co-op type experience as well. And, you know, you get those three main components. Recently, they, you know, they have the whole war zone that comes out like, you know, uh, like a month, I think, later or two months later. But you pretty much get a whole package with Call of Duty. And my fear is that I feel like a lot of people when it comes to uh, like gaming now, they just worry more about the accessibility of gaming rather than the longevity of gaming, especially when it comes to franchises, because, you know, I always ask the question like, OK, look at these other multiplayer games uh, that were pretty, pretty popular. And what did Game Pass do for those games like Halo? What did Game Pass do for Halo um, Infinite? Did it elevate the game? Did it make it better? Did it have more people playing it? No, you know, it didn't have it. You got less content, you know, the, 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 the customization is less, you know, you had modes where what was that a uh, forge mode that came in like almost a year later and stuff like that. Look at gears of war, uh, gears of war four. I remember a lot of people in the community playing gears of war four a lot, you know, um, they get their cosmetics, they get their colors and all that stuff. Gears of war five. I barely see people playing that and that will launch it to game pass day and date. You know, where now microtransactions in Gears of War 5 was higher than Gears of War 4. You know, were you getting as much content maps, 
you know, things like that compared to the prior games? No, you're not. I don't see Game Pass elevating this game because they're worried about more about just getting the access to these games rather than, oh, the longevity where people will be playing these games for the long haul, you know, or, or does this really benefit the franchise in the long haul? And I don't think that a uh, service like Game Pass really benefits a game like Call of Duty, a big AAA game like Call of Duty, or any of these big AAA multiplayer games. Because from ex- past experience or past uh, stuff that we're seeing, we're seeing these games come in, you know, less uh, prepared than the prior versions uh, before Game Pass it launched into Game Pass. And I do fear that when it comes to Call of Duty, I feel like with Call of Duty. Call of Duty for me personally has been on a decline as far as like uh just the 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 the, the fun level, the replayability, um, you know, the things that we could do in the game. You know, we went from creating our own emblems, our own calling cards, to now every emblem or calling card is something that is tied into some type of paid mechanic or you know, uh, you know, you can get it free or whatever through playing or whatnot, or a battle pass or whatnot, you know. Uh, rather than that creativity of like Oh, let me get, let me grind to get these items that I can make that I can put into making my own emblem. Th- that that fun factor. Cause I I enjoyed that in the past Call of Duties, and I'm not one of those people that made like crazy ass emblems and calling cards. I pretty much had my my clan, which is X Men, that's been my clan since like day one, and I make like an X Men symbol um in multiple colors. So I'm pretty simple, but there was some other cool you know emblems that people created. But now you don't have that creativity there because everything is tied into unlocking this is on battle pass and oh if you want this sticker or this emblem you got to pay for the battle pass so you can get the stuff that you already earned you know what i mean so i don't ever think like game pass will even elevate that or bring those things back in the past games i think we're just going to be getting less and less and less and it's already in kind of like the core call of duty multiplayer it's already in like an iffy spot when it comes to um you know the community and i don't see something like game pass elevating that or pushing that forward um when it comes to the core multiplayer another thing that people forget is that like the main mode that people play when it comes to call of duty is uh warzone that's a free to play mode you know are you going to be putting something like warzone in game pass doesn't make any sense to put a free to play mode into a paid service uh where you have to pay for a subscription you know i don't feel like a lot of people that play call of duty from you know, year in, year out are going to be paying for a service to play the game that they only pay y'all you know, play. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I, it, the only, I could see game pass, you know, the price going up in game pass. Cause like I said, call of duty is a big franchise, put a lot of money into call of duty, uh, to make these games, um, you know, the best, you know, quality that they can. And will that, will that stop due to now you're trying to fit the bill of, going into something like game pass you know where it's not just that one game you're focusing as far as budgets and things like that there's multiple your own first party games and then paying for all these third party games to come into the service that you got to share that 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 money with as far as your 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 cost of development and whatnot you know what i mean so there's a lot of things that i worry about and this is not just a call of duty thing i've always said this since game pass uh came in existence that I feel like it does affect, especially when it, when it comes to Microsoft, I don't see none of these games that they're putting out truly being elevated because they're in Game Pass. You know, um, I just feel like how gamers think they worry about, oh, I, I just get to play this game for a dollar or $10 or whatnot, rather than, oh, does this really make this franchise better? Or does, will I get more of this game? You know, are they going to add more to this game? You already get a lot from Call of Duty from people paying, you know, you know, their seventy dollars, their hundred dollars, their hundred and twenty dollars. But now you're thinking about putting it into a service where it would take away, you know, that 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 point of going out and paying that seventy dollars, that guaranteed money that you get to put back into the game. Where you know, right now I can boot up PC Game Pass, and they have a dollar offering for me. Yeah, consumer wise, that's pretty good. Overall, does that benefit the franchise? Does that benefit the game? Is what I think about, especially when it comes to games that I really like. So yeah, personally, I don't feel like Call of Duty going into Game Pass is going to be beneficial for the game in the long haul. 
it might be beneficial for xbox you know but is it beneficial for that specific game no i don't think so do i see a lot of people even transferring over or crossing over to game pass to play this game not the hardcore call of duties but i do see you know people like that don't play the game at all or people that just you know pop in here and and pop back out they might try the game through game pass but is that going to be enough for the players that do like this franchise Will they be getting enough because of those people that just will pop in, pop out, all of you get game pass for a month, play the game, then I'm out. You know? Like, it, it, it's just a weird situation to me. And I see a lot of people that don't play Call of Duty more so championing this. People that hate Call of Duty, they champion and stuff like that, but they're not really worrying about the longevity of Call of Duty. They're just worrying about, oh, I get to make this tweet, move on. Oh, game pass is great. You're not talking about the game. You're talking about the game pass is great and keep it moving. But I want to highlight something that Jim Ryan said, because, you know, this is something that can eventually, eventually affect PlayStation as far as like, you know, I don't think a mass majority of people is going to be transferring over to Xbox just to play or even PC just to play uh, Call of Duty. PC more likely because, you know, uh, you can play at the, the highest frames uh, for the game and whatnot. But Jim Ryan, uh, during the Activision you know blizzard uh you know trial thing he this is this is what he wanted to avoid this is exactly what jim ryan wanted to avoid uh he's saying here ryan uh said he wasn't concerned about the transaction in may 2022 uh but spencer responds that uh sony's uh counter proposal in august 22 set the alarm bells ringing the email uh from spencer caused may uh caused major concerns with uh sony camp but uh, the context and the email were not shared uh, today in court. A major concern for Sony is that Xbox will put Call of Duty in Game Pass, de-incentivizing players to access the title on PlayStation. We believe that Microsoft intends to use Call of Duty to disadvantage PlayStation in the terms of the availability or the manner in which the game is made available on the PlayStation console. And to drive uh, PlayStation gamers to Xbox platform, specifically Game Pass. So this is something that feels uh, uh, Jim Ryan, as far as why he wanted to stop the deal. Because, yeah, it could definitely affect uh, PlayStation and how they, you know, you know, uh, monetize, you know, their Call of Duty. As far as, okay, here, we're paying the $70 on this platform. But, okay, we got this game here played in Game Pass. I understand from Microsoft perspective, but also in the PlayStation perspective, it's not good for them. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, this is something that Jim Ryan wanted to avoid. Um, and everything that Jim Ryan has said is pretty much what, you know, Microsoft is, or what is alluded to is, is happening here as far as putting the game into game pass, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how this call of duty is going to look. Like I said, I'm a big Treyarch fan and I want to see, you know uh the game really good as like the past Treyarch games but i do worry about the franchise in general you know being in something like game pass how how is that going to pan out uh you know in three years in five years you know are we going to be getting less because like i said we compare to other games that xbox have had where you know these are big titles game pass did not improve it at all gears of war Call of Duty, Forza, Game Pass did not improve that at all. You're getting less and you're paying more for what you was paying for in prior games before Game Pass. But y'all let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section how you feel about uh you know um Call of Duty going to Game Pass. Are you for it? Do you not care? Uh do you, you don't play Call of Duty? But for the people that really play Call of Duty and really enjoy Call of Duty, I, I definitely want to hear your thoughts on on this subject matter if you guys want to see more videos like this as far as this you know me talking about specific uh news topics or whatnot let me know um i will i will try and do more of the playstation newsroom stuff um you know as the as we pass time you know getting to the whole jay barry show but uh you know let me know in the comment section you guys like videos like this but yeah i will have like a whole beatrix uh video as well so stay tuned for that for grand blue fantasy uh versus rising and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is this good for Call of Duty? I think not. Boy J. Barry, I'm gone. Deuces.